If a guy said to you he hated all black people, I think you despise that person immediately, quite correctly. But, but if a guy said to you he hated all of humanity, you'd prefer that guy <laughs> to the guy who just hates the black people. Even though, even though this guy, he still hates all the black people. He's exactly the same as him, but he also hates everyone else as well. I mean, at least this guy likes someone. There's some love in his heart, you know, some hope for him, but... I think you're right, because, you know, there is no logic to hating anyone based on their race. I think there is a, learn, a certain logic to hating all of humanity. But believe me, I have to work with you. You're scum. <laughs> In reality, uh, I'm a woolly liberal, and I'm guessing you probably think the same as me. I, I don't want to speak for you, so do shout out if you disagree with this. But my philosophy is quite a nice one, is that everyone in the world is the same and should be treated the same regardless of the colour of their skin, their sex, or their sexuality. That's a nice way. Everyone should be the same. That's a nice way of looking at stuff. But, right, I've got this friend, right, his dad is English, but his mum is from Asia somewhere. <laughs> I can never quite remember exactly where she's from. It's either Malaysia or Singapore or the Philippines. It's one of those countries. I mean, he's like my best friend. I should know his heritage. It's a source of massive embarrassment that I don't know where he's from. A source of liberal guilt. But to a racist, he's just Chinese. That's that. <laughs> Sorted out. It doesn't matter that his dad's English. It doesn't matter that his mum's not Chinese. <laughs> he's Chinese. That's that issue over. Let's move on with our lives. In fact... In fact, to a racist, pretty much anyone from Hawaii, right through Fiji, up through all those Australasian islands, Thailand, Vietnam, Siberia even, China and Tibet, they're all Chinese. <laughs> One in four of the world's population, immediately exactly the same. Is that ugly or is that kind of beautiful? Because <laughs> you and I, we probably see the world as 195 different countries, 195 distinct types of people. To a racist, there are just four types of people. They're 191 closer than you to seeing everyone in the world as exactly the same. That's what, that's what you want. They're, the racist is better at being liberal than you are. I mean, that's embarrassing. There's four types to the racist. There's four types. There's, there's Chinese, obviously. There's black, there's white. The fourth type is amazing. It's a beautiful vision of a possible utopian future. The fourth type basically encompasses anyone from the Indian subcontinent, right through the Middle East, North Africa, Southern Europe even, right through to Mexico, the Hispanic parts of South America, this vast swathe of humanity, all the same. Basically, anyone who could be played by the actor Nadim Sawalha. <laughs> To a racist or a casting director, there is no difference. They can see no difference. You could be from El Salvador or Iraq. You're the same, isn't that what you want? That's beautiful. And look at the people of India and Pakistan, right? They hate each other. They're always fighting. There could be nuclear war between those two countries that would destroy the world. If only the people of India and Pakistan could see themselves the way a racist sees <laughs> They go, what are we doing? Why, why are we fighting? I'm a Paki, you're a Paki. <laughs> no, I'm from India, mate. Yeah, he's still a Paki, I mean, I'm not, not being rude. I don't like the name, you know. Most of the world conflagration, most of the world's conflagrations happen between peoples that racists would see as identical. Israel, Palestine, they're all yids, what are they fine about it? Quite... Northern Ireland, Southern Ireland, they're all stupid paddies, what are they got to argue about? Mental, aren't they? Swansea versus Cardiff, you're all inbred, incestuous paedophiles. <laughs> Trying to have sex within your family if at all possible. That's if there's no sheep available, obviously you would prefer that if over. Even if a human being wanted to have sex, you seaweed all down your faces. There's, there's bread with wheat now, you can eat that if you want. Wishing you lived in a brilliant country like England instead of the shithole you live in now. Oh, that's the only one I didn't like, was it, mate? That's interesting. Racist. So, um... <laughs> that the most extreme racists see the world as just two types of people. You're either white or you're black. They're just one step away. Just... <laughs> Just one mental leap to make and everyone in the world will be exactly the same. You're 194 steps away from that utopia, yet you dare judge them. You 